everybody, we're back with the Third Kingdom uh, of this tour, and we're here joined by Sam. What's up, Sam? <laughs> What's up? Uh, so, where are we at? We are in Forgotten Kingdoms. The Forgotten Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're working on a couple areas. Right now, we're working on, like, District Houses area. And that's, like, across, like, this bridge and all that. It's a community area where we all live. Yeah. And, like, we put all of our chests in and crap. It's in here. We also like put our beds in here. It's kind of like a caveman style because it's Forgotten Kingdom and it's broken down to ruin. Oh, nice. Oh, well, there's a lot of you working over here. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool little little uh, hidey hole. And then if you come out here, past the bridge, it's um, custom terrain everywhere. We're working on like making everything custom because we're making the terrain rocky. Plus, um, we got a wheat field. It's gonna be straight. It's gonna be way out there. It's gonna be huge. Um, is this a plains biome? I'm pretty are, sure. Yeah. No. Are there a, two different groups that picked picked the flattest possible place to, in order to build big mountains? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so great. I love you guys. <laughs> wow, this is a great cliff, man. I know. Yeah, yeah. this is the crypt of the um, creators, um, Lord. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, the crypt of the creators. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, this is really nice too. It's just a huge to um, show off all the builders that helped through it all and all that. This is cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. There's like five. There's, like, there's a lot of rooms. It's like huge. It's gigantic. Yeah, I uh, I was down here before. I think when it was just being dug out, but oh, uh, it's grown. Mm -hmm. It's grown a good bit. <laughs> it goes down for a while. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. like the uh, the use of the black wool up in the top, so it just looks like it just stretches up into into infinity. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's not much to show here right now because we haven't really done anything except for detail it. Uh huh. I see that. Yeah. No. I mean, I like it's it's simple. I don't and I and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like mm -hmm. you know, you've got cobble, you've got stone brick. I mean, all of this stuff, with the exception of one or two textures, are really all you know available in vanilla a little bit of overlap but it's all something that people could re recreate quite easily on their own worlds too you know, you know what i really like about it too is it comes it is very it's like it's very si sort of simple down there but it comes from a really messy complicated area right and i think that that really works in the benefit of it mm -hmm. too i like that split. like i like the split staircase too that's nice it is really nice that's a really good idea i think that if it were all this complex or all that simple i don't think it'd be as good and i think you guys have really pulled off like a really nice sort of com uh combination between the two you have to think um lord from that because he did a really amazing job on it yeah it's super nice yeah i like these but now I mean, even we have a new, just we these have rocks are nice a new member has been working on like a new style of house there's not much over here but there's a little bit so I don't know if it's worth. I mean, it's worth showing because he's he's been working hard on it. But well, yeah, and I and I, it's new since I was here. I think last too. So it'd be good mm -hmm. to show everyone. Um, oh cool. Oh, I like this. So this is going to be like. So this is current people living here, maybe. Yeah. Moving okay. In. Cool. And then Ooh, I'm I working like on a little area over here. I like the terracotta just sitting on the ground too. That's a really nice idea for almost like different crates than the crates that we're all kind of used to with the note block crates. Mm -hmm. I'm planning on making a big temple and like a little broken down huge village that used to live here. Nice. That suddenly got wiped. So this this kingdom, from my understanding, is actually kind of like a combination of two. It's like the ruins, but then also current, sort of current inhabitants, right? Yeah. So it's so you kind of have to split that difference. That's a, that's a tough one. That could be a hard, that could be a hard thing to sort of rectify is getting two different styles in the same area. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> we had to destroy a couple of houses because a little too modern. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, and then there's completely different. There's a different area way over here in the different. Oh, I can't fly. There we go. And then bam. I'm I'm not sure what we're doing with the sugar cane. I think it's just a farm. I think we're gonna move it someday. Oh, I'm not getting for sure. I like it. I've always wanted to have a giant sugarcane field, like a huge giant one outside of a manor or something. I'm, so I'm actually working on one right now on my single, or my my other server, but it's um, it's it's a lot more tedious than you'd like. <laughs> just yeah. FYI, if you think wheat's yeah. tedious, just wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot more thinking. I imagine to always keep them near the water and then cover the water if you're going to. And there's a stuff. specific pattern actually to oh, it. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's just a lot of water buckets. It's just, like a ton, mm. right? This is the automatic form over here by the way in this temple 
This is a like little for, um, broken down temple. And there's like uh -huh. farms in here. Um, there's melon farms. And oh, cool. Oh, I see. Oh, that's really smart. Nice. Just covering stuff up. Yeah. I like these two tiered. There's sugar cane farm over here, too. I like these two tiered temples that you got going on. Like the, um, there's one across the way here, too. I mean, this this one is also nice, but uh, that like the stairs up to the platform and then up to another and if platform. You, if you um, look, over, there's a castle over there, and that's net. I don't know if that's going to be used for yet, because you know, I think he's just making it just to look good. But we're also having a major problem is filling up space. Mm. That's when, why we try adding ruins around. When you're but, doing you know, these I... ruins, do you build it first and then knock out blocks, or do you kind of build it as it's destroyed? It's kind of a mix of both, right? Because <laughs> like we yeah. have a lot of builders on here, so like some do what you just said, and some do the other. Yeah. Other. I find that when I'm doing ruins, I I build a not that detailed version of it, and then kind of destroy it. I think that's kind of the. Otherwise, right. I really have a hard time figuring out where the detail would go after it's like halfway knocked down. So, right. kind of have to figure out what what are the sturdy parts that would survive time, and then what's the mm -hmm. what's the the frilly parts that would probably fall apart you know it, it's yeah and it, once you build it it becomes very obvious i think that kind of thing i don't think it, you have to think all that hard what is this i like this crypty <laughs> tomb, tomb thing that's awesome wow i'm not that going down really there you cool. go down there <laughs> that is super cool right it just, Man, i mean i knew what it was immediately like as soon as i saw it i was like oh that must be like a crypt but oh you guys are gonna be amazed of this um there's an amazing terrain over here i think because you guys can fly i'm uh to fly too we have, um, I think, three terrain builders on this project. It's insane so oh, far. This is really nice. Mm. Oh, I love this. Under Underneath the stairs. Mm -hmm. Joel, come around here. Yep. Cool. This is really cool. Go to the back of it, oh, and neat. then you're going to find another wheat build, I think. And it's amazing. It's just beautiful. Oh, man, this bridge Waterfall overhang. Waterfall is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's well another... done. Yeah, Who's lots... responsible for building this uh, giant cliff? I'm not. It's it's like a mix of three people, I think. Oh, it's oh, a hollow. There's like a um waddles. Like a, I think is one. There's a special. Oh. There's a special room in here. Oh, it's like a get, like. Oh, there's nothing. Chest. In I was oh. expecting it to be full of landscaping supplies, but it's not. <laughs> cool. This is a cool is it, idea. It's actually, new to me. <laughs> actually, make one. Yeah. Because I mean, actually like it, use it for something. Yeah. Well, and it mm -hmm. looks like it has a very specific entrance. You know, like it's obviously meant to be like this tall, tall sort of thing. That's really cool. Hmm. I, oh man, I, I need to watch more videos on how to create these custom rocks that look like this. I mean, I've seen them before, but only in like you know biome bundle, not mm -hmm. not you know people actually making them. This it, is super well it done. It must Ooh. take forever. Oh, you can go under the waterfall too? Man, this mm -hmm. is just nice forethought on building this whole system. I really like, you know, just to look a little bit at the landscaping. I think it's really the overhang. The amount of overhang is just like just the right amount too. And how it's sometimes grass, sometimes dirt, sometimes cobble. That overhang, I I, I think that that's what does it for me. I mean, people that do this kind of building must be just champing at the bit for all those new slabs, especially smooth oh. stone. Yeah, smooth stone, any diorite, granite, those ones too. Yeah. I like how this house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. That's uh, that's unfortunate. I think I know. Um, it says on the um, on tag who built it. Uh, Saz Sazzle. Well, Blossom. Blossom, Blossom yeah. and then the new builder. Yeah, cool. She's a new builder, so she's trying things out. It's really good. That's really good. Man. This is great. This is a great kingdom. The small Thank details you. too, like this bridge is awesome. I'm pretty sure this is turning into like another train form over here and this is like a broken down house oh yeah yeah i can see sure. that yeah yeah nice this yeah you're great. right joel the, the, the small details are really nice well, i mean like the, i can't wait to see this whole area grown up you know like the the bucket or the the cauldron with the the water in it and then like the the bridge is so simple but it's still like just enough detail with like three or four different blocks and all kinds of stuff mm-hmm Oh, there's there's that new rope, that new rope texture. Fix it. That's so cool. It's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, That's you could cool. just activate it with a uh, like a lever or something. Pretty easy to hide. Yeah. What are these stone pillars like? What is that? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, I think it's just a fill up space, in my opinion. But I'm pretty sure we can add like a little background to it, like 
these used to be like a little de dock yeah like thing. a dock or a gazebo or something mm -hmm. yeah cool 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 yeah. well uh sam thank you so much for taking us through i i love there's so and joel there's like another four or five kingdoms in this world that are all uh equally impressive i mean the whole area is just super it's just cool crazy yeah so well thank you uh thank you sam thank you uh to the other guys who showed us around joel thanks for uh thanks for joining us hey my pleasure man and uh, yeah, if you are, want to check out any of the Vastin Dimensions members, they'll be linked in this video. You can check out all of those who do Twitch or YouTube and uh, check back and just watch this world sort of just blow up. It's really been uh, it's been astonishing to see this world started a week after the realm of Vastin started for this season. And um, we're being left in the dust, Joel. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so congratulations, all you Vastin Dimensions members. We love it. And I uh, can't wait to see what's next. So thank you all. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.